guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. In today's video, we are finally potting up those philodendron mammei propagations that we took, I think, about two months ago now. I think it was in a plant chores video. I'll link that video below and insert some footage here of when I fully chopped back that plant. I actually left a little piece in there with one leaf. I will update you on later. And I also wanted to repot my Alocasia Jacqueline and my Alocasia Dragon Scale because I just got some pawn in the mail. So I just got this pawn in the mail, so I thought it was a perfect opportunity to pot up those propagations. So let's get right into it. Can you guys believe that I actually got my hands on Lechuza Pawn? This is literally the second bag that I've ever bought because I went to go buy a second bag once and they emailed me saying that they didn't have it in stock anymore. So when I ordered this bag, I wasn't even that confident that I was gonna get it, but I'm so happy that I did. I think this is, it says it's six liters. I honestly don't ever know what that means. But I bought six liters and I really needed this because I have so many plants that are in that perlite pond mixture where it is more perlite than pond. I don't think that's the best permanent medium for a plant. So I definitely wanted to refresh those. I do have to go clean this off. I actually Googled before this came in the mail today, seeing if I, seeing if it was at, oh, not zero minutes. So me being lazy, I did Google if you have to absolutely wash off your Lechuza Pond before using it. And a lot of people don't, but I really don't want dirty reservoirs. I know for sure if I don't wash off the pond, there's gonna be some mucky water in the reservoir. So I'm gonna go wash off some of this, not all of it because there's a lot in this bag. If you wanna know how I wash off my Lechuza Pond, I will link a video where I'm washing it. Literally, I bought a huge strainer. I just pour it in there and then rinse it until the water runs clear. So it's really not that difficult. I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I'll be right back. A little longer than a few minutes later. I am back with some clean pond. This is the strainer that I was telling you about and I put it on top of this basket just so it can drain into it. It's a metal tin that I got from Job Lot like two years ago when I first got into plants. I literally used to put seeds in here with dirt and plant them in here. <laughs> That's not a bad idea though. And if you're wondering why my videos have been so dark, it's because it's been raining for like a week straight now, which I really don't mind, but when it comes to filming, I can do without the darkness. Okay, Mammy Eye Propagations, I'm so excited. So this is the jar that they were in, but I took the ones that I'm going to be potting up out of that jar. One, because the water is green and it has algae floating around in it. Disgusting. And two, should I pot this one up? No. These are the two propagations that don't have any new growth really, besides, besides this one with this tiny little growth point. I'm not gonna pot that up because there's not a lot of roots. So that's going back in water. And then this one, <coughs> this one doesn't have any new growth at all. But if I look all the way down in here, there is a little tiny growth point poking out. So I'm just gonna give it a little bit more time to propagate, probably add some Super Thrive to the water, but I don't have any right now. Scooper. Okay. So for the ones we're potting up, Here's one of them with a little growth coming out and it has some roots, pretty sufficient. Oh my God, this one's so wonky. And then I have this one, lots of roots here. I love how these roots are kind of tinged pink. That's pretty freaking cool. Kind of like the Philodendron Varicosum, which honestly, I have a few leaves currently dropping on my, not my Varicosum, what am I talking about? I mean, like my El Chaco Red. That plant actually has like three leaves dropping right now, but it also just put one out. So I don't know if it's from old age or it's dying. So we're gonna propagate and stake that probably soon as well, but I am so scared to propagate that plant. I don't know why when I literally chopped this plant up like it was nothing. <laughs> it's such a stunning plant. If you look at my Instagram, I just posted a few pictures recently of the new leaf that came out and it's stunning. But I am scared to propagate it. This is one of my Mammy Eye propagations. This leaf came out while it was propagating. That's why it looks like it has deficiencies because it probably does. This leaf was already here when we propagated it. 
but it did grow all of this while it's been in water, including this leaf as well. This plant is a massive grower. Like it grows so fast and so strong. I had potted up two plants of Philodendron Mamii that I had propagated in water as well. I think it was like two weeks before I took these propagations, I took those ones. And look at this. This is one of the ones I potted up. Look at how crazy this looks. It looks way better than the mother plant which was my goal. So I'm very, very happy with all of the propagations that I took. This is so gorgeous. If you follow my mother of plants Instagram, you see this plant all the freaking time. So sorry, not sorry. I also, when I propagated that plant, I left this leaf in the pot. This is the original pot that the plant was in or the pot that I transferred it to when I got it. And look at the big juicy leaf it's putting out currently. I told you, if you've been wanting a more rare philodendron and this one is on your list, I would definitely get this one first just because look how easy it grows and propagates. It might be a little bit expensive, but to me, it was definitely worth every penny. I thought there were bugs in there, but I think that's leftover sphagnum moss. It's so gorgeous, oh my God. I actually had cut off that leaf that I left on there because it just started to tarnish wicked bad. This is actually dead, oh, I'll remove that later, but that's dead too. But it pushed out this little leaf first and then the leaf that's coming, you can already tell it's a lot bigger than this leaf. So I'm so excited. And like I said, I have this one and then another one in a glass jar. It's currently in my greenhouse cabinet and the humidifier is on. I don't want to disrupt their humidity blast for the day, but, but I don't plan on keeping them in these glass jars just because it's definitely not practical. The roots are almost busting out the jar. So I definitely want to get this potted up into a self watering pot soon. So stay tuned for that. Let's get to potting up these propagations because it needs to be done. I have this little plastic container that I'm gonna use for a scooper. My Lechuza Pond. I'm so excited to finally have some more. Like you have no idea. When you start running out of sub... When you start running out of substrates and then a lot of plants need to be potted up or repotted, it's very nerve wracking. So I'm really happy to have this. And I also need more Leca. And it's so crazy because when I first got into Semi Hydro, I think in the past I got a 10 liter bag for $10. And now if you look online, it's a lot more to get Leca. And it's really disheartening. Definitely need to get that as well because I honestly like putting Leca at the bottom of the pot and then filling the rest with pond. So I do plan on transferring all my larger plants to that kind of setup in the future. But for now, I like to use glass jars when I first transfer propagation so I can keep an eye on the roots and make sure it's not dying. Even though sometimes in the past I have not done that, I have regretted it. Like even one of my mammy, I had said it was in a clear jar, but it's not. Now that I'm remembering, it's in a jar that I can't see through and it doesn't look that good. So yeah. I love a round jar. Who is going in here? Which one should we put in here? I think we should put a cute one. This little cute one maybe? Maybe we should put two in here, yeah. Let's do two. So I'm gonna stick this one here. Maybe I should put a little more pawn. Okay. So I'm going to stick this cutting here that has these roots. Boop. Oh my God, this one looks so pretty. I can actually cut that off. If you see, if you look up close, there are two sets of roots, one up here and one at the very bottom. Should I cut, oh, my elbows are getting wet. Should I cut that off so I can have another one? Yeah, why not? But just to show you guys a closer, just to show you a closer look at what I'm talking about, there's a set of roots right here with this whole little plant attached to it. Right here, so I'm just cutting this off. Oh my God, there's so many roots. Maybe I shouldn't do that. Should I? I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> Almost had you guys there. Okay, back to this. Okay. 
Let's stick him down like this a little bit. I like to hold them in place while I'm doing it. He has a lot of roots though. Should I stick somebody else in here like him? I think I should stick him in here. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm gonna stick this little guy in there with this crusty leaf. Hopefully these don't die. Okay. Balance. And let's backfill. I'm not trying to bury that little leaf too much, so I'm gonna dig to find it really quick. Let me give him a little shake first. Oh. I almost damaged him. I found the little leaf. Maybe you can see him in there. Oh my God, this is so cute. And yes, I know this is a perfect plant to stake up because look at those roots on the back. Oh my God, so vibrant and pretty. But I'm waiting till they get bigger. I think I'm gonna end up staking up all my philodendron eventually, but that time will come. Okay. Is this okay? I don't know. I feel like they're gonna fall out. Oh my God, this is so weird looking, but it looks so cool in a round pot. So many people ask me where I get my glass jars from. Most of them are from the Dollar Tree and I've had them for years now. Well, two years. And they're all still there anytime I go to the Dollar Tree. So go to the Dollar Tree. They have the Dollar 25 tree, I should say. They have a lot of nice little jars, literally. I got this jar from there. Mostly all of the jars that I have. The taller ones, ugh. the taller ones like these ones, the taller ones like these ones, I think I got these ones from Walmart. And the bigger ones that I have like this are from Walmart as well, but all of my tiny little jars, Dollar Tree. All right, I'm gonna get him some water. This is just my Dynagro. But like I said, I really wanna start, ooh, was that too much? No. I never really worry about the water because they were literally just sitting in water. So I think they'll be okay. But if I do see it declining, I do rearrange things. But this is what it looks like now. I put the water like up to here. The reservoir still looks a little bit dirty, which is kind of annoying. But since it was said that we don't have to wash it off, I'm not gonna worry about it too much. Anyways, this is him all potted up. So freaking cute. And it might look wonky and crusty now, but this plant is just, look at this new leaf. Like that's gonna unfurl and it's just gonna be so beautiful. I love this plant so much, if you couldn't tell. This jar that I just showed you, I'm gonna use to pot up this philodendron Mammy Eye propagation. Has this big leaf on it. I'm gonna end up cutting off all of these leaves, but right now it has like this little, you can barely see it. It has this like little growth point coming out of it. So I'm just gonna transfer it for now, just to make things easier for that little nub. It was too small, kinda. But I don't really have that many jars because I have too many plants right now. So, oh, that looks okay, okay, okay. Just gonna turn it so he's not leaning on the glass like that. Yay, not too shabby, not too shabby. I know these really look so crazy, but like I said, this leaf is probably gonna come off wicked soon. All of the leaves that the plant came with got so crusty and all of the new ones are so beautiful. So I do plan to cut this off, just saying. Oh my God, this thing is so heavy because I just filled it up. I'm gonna fill his, oh. I kind of meant to do that, but oh no, I didn't. Let's pour some of that water out. Okay, so he's like filled up to right here. Ew, look at how mucky it looks. That's what it looks like when you don't rinse 
the pond good enough, by the way. Anyways, this is what he's looking like. Very cool, very cool. Moving on to my Alocasia Jacqueline. <laughs> I put tape around this because the algae was building up and it was so annoying and I didn't want to do anything else to the jar. But it's been a one leaf plant for some time now. It's literally so gorgeous. I love this plant so much. And I obviously can't leave it alone because I keep disrupting its root system. But I keep feeling like I'm doing something wrong with it. Although I do have one leaf, it's like, okay, what's happening? So I'm going to repot him. And it's honestly mostly to check out the root system. And I don't like the texture on this pot. It's like all these little squares on it. So this is from the Dollar Tree as well. So I got this one that has these lines that go down. I probably won't like this either, but this is what I have for now. Similar pot, different pattern on the outside. And I'm also doing this to refresh the medium that he's in because like I said, the algae, if you can see in there, the algae was building up. I got this smaller strainer. This is what I used to use to clean all of my pond and like a, this. Crazy. Okay, so I'm just gonna dump this one first. This is my cutesy little alocasia. Oop. Why do I always think the roots are rotting or something? And they always look so good. Like these are fine. What is wrong with me? Now I'm just gonna pot her into this pot. Is this pot too big? Oh well. Oh my God, picked it up too rough. I think this is too big. Should I put her in here? <gasps> Should I? I don't know. I think I'm gonna put it closer to the bottom. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. So I put about that much pond in before I pot her in here. And I'm just gonna hold it while I backfill. Was that mold down there? I hope not. I didn't fill it all the way up. I filled it to about here because it's just not necessary to cover the entire stop. But there she is with a refreshed medium. Let's give her some water. Is that good? I was literally rinsing that pond for like five minutes. Like how is it that mucky still? Hopefully it doesn't do any damage because if it does, I'm going to be pissed. <laughs> Moving right on to my Alocasia Dragon Scale, this delicious beauty right here. She actually has two leaves. Well, I usually have two leaves at once and that's it. So these are here for now. They'll probably die off, but hopefully not. But look at all that algae inside and look at how much perlite is in there versus pond. She needs to be dumped. I haven't repotted her since I potted her into this, so. Ooh, she's, she's pretty stuck in here. Oh my God, I'm scared. Okay, come on. oh my God, oh my God, there's so many roots. I'm really not trying to break any, so that's why I'm shaking it like this. Oh, wow. Guys, look at my Alocasia dragon scale roots. That's crazy. She needs a bigger pot. Like this plant literally needs a bigger pot. I didn't even know. Thank God I checked though, but look how nice and white the roots are. Oh my God, so luscious. I'm gonna go find a bigger pot because I was honestly gonna pot her back into the same pot, but that's just not gonna work. And I wanna have a luscious dragon scale. And I think a bigger pot's gonna do that. Let's go find a, let's go get a self-watering pot. Do we think an Alocasia Dragon Scale would be good in a self-watering pot? We're gonna have to find out. Yay, I'm excited. This is the pot that I got with my self-watering pots. In my last video, we transferred my Monstera Peru and my Baltic Blue Pothos from soil to semi-hydro. And I didn't end up using the inserts for the self-watering pots. And I'm going to be using this cover pot 
for the self watering insert like so and this pot is from the plants that I transferred in my last video as well are you keeping up it literally fits like a glove and I knew it would yay okay Let's get her done. Well, first, obviously, we're gonna fill this up. And this string is so that the water wicks up. Although it's not gonna have a lot of trouble wicking up water because this pot is very low in the cover pot. So that's good. That's what we want. I think that's too much pond. But let's see. Yeah, that's too much. Okay, oops. That's stuck on my pothos over there. So that looks better. And now I'm just gonna hold it while I backfill per usual. I need to move my pond back over here though. Let's hold you up. I wonder if people put alocasias on moss poles. That would be cute. I should. I feel like he needs something to support him. So I might add that at a later point. Or maybe the next time you see him, he will be supported. Look at how freaking cute this is. Oh my God. So luscious and juicy. I'm so happy that I unpotted it and saw the root system. Hopefully it's getting sufficient enough to hold more than two leaves. Potting it up definitely probably helped. But there we go. My new potted up dragon scale. Yay, I'm so freaking excited. That does bring me to the end of today's video. Make sure you're subscribed if you're not already. Fo Follow me on my Mother of Plants Instagram. Give me a thumbs up if you did enjoy this video. And until my next video, bye guys.